So Africa name is so significant. Welcome to yet another exciting edition of the show on your favorite channel, Noble TV Life. My name is Mary Emmanuel, and today on the show, we'll be taking on names and their impact. Mr. Chidi Peters, or rather, Dr. Chidi Peters. Pardon Thank me, you sir. very much. You're welcome to Thank the show. So today, we're taking on names and their impact. And we know a name is someone's identity. But then, in the African cosmology, we tend to find out that... Um, their own perception of names actually have a different meaning to what um, the Western world view think, thinks of names. Like, for example, you can see that um, uh, we have um, the whites actually bear names like Bush, Stone, and all that. But here in Africa, it's actually um, kind of deep for us. So do you think that names have significance? I thank you very much. When you, when you mentioned the uh, African cosmetology i feel play so pleased because uh, i'm a red cap chief and okay. a red cap chief that means we uphold the traditional culture of african it's people obvious. and um, uh, looking at names and uh, their impact in the society particularly when it gets to do with africa mm. as a continent and also uh, just opposing it with the western world where westernization have bastardized our tradition and have bastardized our culture and uh, we tend to sell out simply because we want to pretend that we are aligning with the western culture that's exactly we're having it wrong the bush as far as i'm concerned in uh, in uh, my language is forest imagine where someone is answering forest and uh, when someone answer uh Biko, you begin to question him why you answered on Biko? Mm -hmm. Biko simply means dead please okay leave the rest children or oh, zemena you understand okay. so in African culture, we name, we give name based on the events surrounding the child's birth or the event surrounding the family. Okay. The white man like, they can choose to, like when we are small, we used to say, in when Chinese want to name their, their children, they just throw a temper on the Once you mention, the child will be, chin Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so African name is so significant. Okay. And I encourage Africans, that's no way we should throw them away. Somebody answering or Zemena, which is it should not happen again. Maybe a woman who have uh, uh, who have uh, bought children and they are dying, and this one come to live and say or Zemena, mm. it's a prayer. Omo Biko, it's a prayer. Omo Dinjo, it's a prayer. Well, but do you think names have an effect on our lifestyle? Because I mean, I, you know, let, let's take it the religious. When, when, when you talk about when you talk about lifestyle, okay. it has also have to do with the mental exposure of someone, not the name. Okay, I'm I'm taking it from the religious angle now. You know, there are some 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 pastors who say, okay, let me use myself as an, as an example. There was a time when I was told that Mary means bitterness, that mm. I should change the name and all that. But I mean, <laughs> I'm not bitter. I'm actually living a very good life, if mm. I should say so. Mm. So, do you think that names actually have effects on on your lifestyle, on your growth? I mean, because, like I said in the beginning, the whites bear a lot of names, funny names, but it doesn't really affect their personality. In fact, George Bush was the president of America, and he's bearing Bush. So, don't you think that the African cosmology, in a way, has them giving us some perception that doesn't that I, I should say isn't correct. Now I told you before is bastardization of African cosmetology. We have bastardized it because we want to pretend that we belong. In the daytime we go to church. In the night we go and keep far for our grandfather who is late fifty years ago. In the daytime we are clapping and invoking Holy Ghost. At night from backyard you tend to be jealous about your fellow man or your son or your 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 uncle your your niece, your niece or your nephew or your cousin who just bought a car. Behind him, you are doing a lot sort of thing to have power to be able to, uh, you know, cast devil and evoke demons. By the daytime, you pretend to be more than Jesus. But I, did, I didn't see the white people train with their own culture. When Queen Elizabeth was doing better, we saw goats. What was the goat doing there? And they said, so we are goats. When my father died, how to kill ram? So now when you're talking about naming, you also have to do a culture. I told you earlier that naming in African culture have to do with events surrounding the birth of the child. While them, I don't know about them and I don't want to know. I prefer to be called Chidi, Chukodi. That's what my real name. What does Chidi mean? God Day. 
Okay. The the in the, in the real uh, African our own pigeon is a god day, and you, or you, you can interpret in your own language. So as far as I'm concerned, the impact of naming or the name that somebody bears have to do with your mental education, with the environment. Okay, so you're I have seen somebody who is excellent gentle. He's not gentle. I've seen someone who is excellent. He's okay. not excellent. In a nutshell, you're trying to say that names don't have any any spiritual undertone. They don't yeah. have. In fact, if you, if you if you choose to name me Obanja, I'll answer it. Oh, if wow. you choose to name me Ogun, I will answer it because I don't know. Maybe something must have happened. So I come to that. Name doesn't have impact on people. What have impact on people is our mental education, and of course, we high time we begin to change it. It's high time we should allow the Western religion to capsize our own. Uh, uh, way of life so you know this topic actually popped up in my head because of the um the uh, controversy around um rihanna's son's name i mean recently a lot of people have been saying because it, it, rihanna actually named her son riot mm -hmm. okay and a lot of people have been saying inclu including christians mm -hmm. over there in the u.s mm -hmm. that the fact that she named her son riot doesn't mean that he's going to um suffer violence in any way that he might even be more successful than some people in nigeria that are bearing blessing and the rest and to further prove this point at some point there were like some arm robbers that were caught in lagos and they were moses and abraham so i want to know now i want to know like what's your final take what would be your advice to parents who want to name their children? Do you want them to go the way um, of the Western worldview, or you want them to still, you know, tread in the path of the African? Okay, let, 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 let me let me just give you three instances. Okay. We have Emma Wari, who is the professor in Nigeria and the inventor of the fastest computer in the world. He's a Nigerian from Onitsha. He answered Emma Wari. Okay. What's the meaning of Emma Wari? I should ask you. <laughs> Emma Wari means Emma Wari. Okay, you're not you're not yeah. saying it. Like, no, 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 O culture. What does O culture means? Okay means rat. Culture means white. Wonderful. Okay. Are they not successful? They are successful. In Ebola, we have Okafo, we have OKK, we have Mbampo, we have Mbafo, we have Mbouye, and there's a lot of them are successful. So success or spiritual connotation of that name should not come in. It's based on the surrounding or the events that have to do with the family okay okay of, or the history Sorry, of the family, so you're saying that based on the surrounding so you're saying we are not, we, we are, hold on no, man. no, no sir uh, i want i want to get this straight mm. that surrounding you have been saying it over and over again mm. and i want to understand it so you're saying that we should name people according to occurrences is that what you're that saying? is that of that is Afri cost, african cosmetology that is what it is that is it we have uh, uh, diana who is the princess of uh, uh, England. it's actually diana diana or diana <laughs> should die an accident so if that does not guarantee that a riot will live successful life. Okay. Who God want to bless, God will bless. Who did she want to cheat? Amanda or cheat? Okay, I have okay, I have want to bless. He blesses. Uh, take, take it easy. Thank too, you sir. very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that is how much we can take on the show today. Remember to name your children. Look, name your children what you know the name stands for. Like check the dictionary or maybe you consult your pastor. You name your child the, the typical African name, your language name. Give it to your child. Bam. So, that's how much you can on this show today. Right. My name is Mary Emanuel, and I am enjoining you to click, like, share, and subscribe to Noble TV Live. Until coming away next time, bye for now.